building a new car company, new sales incentives, saying goodbye. Those are a few of the stories this week on the Pentastar. At Dodge Chrysler and Jeep, we're building a new car company. Right now, we're restructuring the way we do business and we're committed to being stronger, leaner, and more competitive. That's the message in a new set of Chrysler ads appearing this week, reassuring the public that Chrysler is open for business and driving towards a new future. The ads remind consumers that Chrysler has the best powertrain warranty in the industry, backed by the U.S. government. To sweeten the deal, Chrysler announced new sales incentives for May, which gives consumers what they want and reflecting the bottom line price of a new vehicle. The incentives total up to $6,000 of the purchase of a new vehicle, including $4,000 consumer cash on 2009 model year vehicles. Qualified members who shop through a participating credit union can receive up to $1,000 bonus cash. Well, Congress could soon hand car shoppers additional cash back. Congress moved closer this week to approving a bill that would give consumers up to $4,500 if they replace their old vehicle with a new, more fuel-efficient model. Chrysler applauded the move. John Bazella, Senior Vice President, External Affairs and Public Policy, said, This program will provide a strong boost to auto sales during the recent economic downturn while helping to replace older, less fuel-efficient vehicles with cleaner, safer, and more fuel-efficient ones. Chrysler's restructuring cleared a few more hurdles this week. A federal court in New York approved a process for the sale of Chrysler assets to Fiat Group and the creation of a new company. The court also approved $4.1 billion in debtor-in-possession financing and $400 million of cash collateral. The funds will help Chrysler meet its working capital and general business needs. For more information, go to www.chryslerrestructuring.com. Finally, Chrysler Vice Chairman and President Tom Lasorda announced last week his plans to retire. Born and raised in Windsor, Ontario, across the river from Detroit, he was a fourth-generation Lasorda to work for Chrysler. Lasorda headed some of Chrysler's boldest and most successful initiatives in recent years, including the Toledo Supplier Park, home of the Jeep Wrangler, which incorporates suppliers in the manufacturing process and which became North America's most productive assembly plant. More recently, the sort of proved pivotal in the Fiat Alliance. Bob Nardelli, Chrysler chairman and CEO, said in announcing Lasorda's retirement, as the head of our global business development, Tom Lasorda arranged the first meeting with Fiat and played a pivotal role in developing the alliance. His leadership has been instrumental in steering Chrysler through many challenges and has helped our company lay the foundation for a great future. Those are a few of the major stories this week under the pedestal. I'm Ed Garston.